This road has always acted as the centre of Salford, but in recent years it's become more and more run down with deserted spaces and derelict buildings. That's the first lot of uh, street works you can see going on here. It's a very well located area, but it's well located if you're passing through it, or if you live here and you want to walk to work across the river or something like that. But it's explaining you want to keep all that accessibility, which it's got. It's absolutely a very convenient location uh, to live and to work. Uh, it's just not a very nice place to stop and linger in. These artists' drawings show the impressive vision for how the area will be transformed. In time, the changes should create 11,000 jobs, 850 new homes, as well as offices, shops, hotels and leisure facilities. The aim is to make it less of a corridor for cars and more of a destination in its own right. It's this area that would have one of the most radical transformations. With the traffic on the road above cleared away, it would leave the area clear for pedestrians, relaxation and perhaps what you might call a more continental feel. I think uh, Salford's for a long time has had a, a name of um, uh, being rather run down, things like that, and I think, yes, it's, it's, it's getting better already, but anything more to do, I think, would help, yeah. If you improve the aesthetic appearance of it, it's going to give it a whole better vibe, isn't it? Um, if you clean it up a little bit as well, it just it kind of deflects all the bad behaviour a little bit, I think, anyway. You can't see a lot of uh, like sitting places except there are a couple of just coffee houses and restaurants here. So if you get places like you know sit here and relax, uh, that should do. That should be better for the public, general public. You, you see dereliction, you see decay, and you don't see people. And we're starting to turn that round. Everyone I've spoken to, everyone I've heard speak about it, has uh, come forward with one single message: as soon as possible, please. Why wasn't it done yesterday? Salford City Council approved these plans in January and now the North West Regional Development Agency has agreed to spend £10.8 million on them. Work can start. Some resurfacing's already begun. Road junctions will be improved over the next six months to start diverting some traffic from the area before the new public spaces are created. In time, planners hope that'll attract businesses and other investors to move to the area as well. James Webster, Channel M Today.